Welcome back to Nelly's Garage. We're here again, would you believe it? We're back again. Third time lucky. Third time lucky, Nelly. Third time's a charm. <laughs> We're hoping to get it finished today. We've got ported heads. We've got the bottom ends more or less done. Couple of things to finish off, just buttoning on the cover and stuff like that. But we will get this engine finished today in this episode, I promise you. So go have a cup of tea, make yourself comfortable, and Chopsy, roll that intro. So what we have done while you've been away, Nelly's just done some little bit of prep work, haven't you? We, we've tightened on the... Uh, yeah, all what's tightened. It called? What's it called? Everyone said, don't forget to tighten that. In the primary, primary drive gear nut. So that's done to, uh, off the top of my head, 170 newton meters, might be yeah, 190. Yeah, that's another biggie. Check it if you're doing it yourself. Um, and then whilst you've been away hiding down south, <laughs> I've also um, done all the valve clearances Ooh, look at those. on the heads, so they're all sorted. And these are the big LR performance heads, so these yes, have been yeah, ported, so ported and polished. Polished, all the inlet's um, been done matched as well, isn't it? On the uh... exhaust has been tidied up, yeah. and if we can see light wise, we've got matched. Matched inlets in nicely ported all the way down. Yeah, so this is big LR performance in the Netherlands. Yeah. Twan sorted this, you know, again, this has been. This is old news. He's been knocking around for years now. Yeah. So finally, they're going to go on the engine and get some use. So they are indeed. But for those that are asking, oh, I can't wait to see the Desmo head assembly. Unfortunately, Twan's done all that. Yeah. So the, the heads are already off camera. <laughs> so the heads are already assembled. So you're not going to see any of the Desmo uh, gubbins. So right. Sorry about that. So a bit of sealant needs to go on. So we're going to chuck, before we put the casings on, we're going to chuck on the, uh, do the big stuff. We're going to put the cylinders and heads on. Gonna do the timely stuff. More, more group. More group, yeah. That's our gloopy gloop on that side. I think what we be careful is the oil way on this as well. Isn't yeah. It? So you've got this is a, an oil feed that goes up through the heads to supply your oil to your camshafts to make sure that they're lubricated and it's matched. Just in here, there's a little seal, make sure that that's in place. That is a Twan special. That's a big low performance yeah. upgrade. You don't normally get no, that. No, you don't normally get no. And you'll see that on the on the horizontal head. We don't we don't have this. It's just a yeah. straight fit and you have to make sure you've got enough gloop in there. So now the pistons being a balanced assembly are all matched. So we've got a nice yellow mark to know that this is the vertical that we need to get on there. Yeah. So we're just going to do that. I've pushed out a piston pin so we can just so you've got the new rings and everything on there really. yeah new rings are in they were all gapped off camera here comes the fun trying to get it perfectly lined up so we can push the piston pin through or gudgeon pin as some people like to call it there we go we are in right new, new clips so a clip needs to go in so i'm going to spin it around to the side i need to do it so we've got to get it into there. Bitter experience has told me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be losing that in there. Yeah. Though, do you? It's not the time for thing, anything else to be going in the bottom of that engine. These things either go in first time or bounce all over the place. But we are using new ones. That one that shot across the garage floor. Yeah, last time. yeah. Don't worry, it's being replaced. So there's our old ones. So always, you know, these cost like 50 pence each yeah, or something don't nice. scrimp on them just always put a brand new one in so we've got some nice nice new shiny ducati ones oh, damn it's just popped again isn't it oh no it's in it's, it's in. in so we seal basically both sides doesn't need a massive amount because you've got the gasket yeah as well I think this, this is the idea of that little o-ring on the oil feet so it doesn't get goop in it and restrict yeah. your flow of oil to your head all right so we just now push this down that way around yeah it's a one fit let's hope this fits Oh, that's the vertical head. 
almost Ooh. on. So we just need to confirm the tightening torques. So it's a three stages normally. Oh, is it? Okay. Which, like, typically I cover the first stage just by hand by doing this, nipping yeah. up. A bit of advice with tools like these. If you do it straight on, you're multiplying the torque and you'd have to factor in for that. If you do it at a right angle, you can use the torque setting as it's on your wrench. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So get it at a right angle. Yeah. Drop it on, then typical head bit. Do it as a cross pattern. So yeah. I'll just get this head spun around so I can do that easily. Right, so on there. So we're just going 15 Newton meters on the original one. Like I said, as you see, it's pretty much my hand has done yeah, it up to 15 good, newton meters. Yeah. It's not a great deal of torque, 15 newton meters. No. Yeah. Okay, then second stage is 25. There we go. And then last one, 40. That's checked. There we hey, go. She's on. She is on. Ta -da. Ta -da. Happy New Year. <laughs> We're still at it. Happy New Year. Well, as we had a slight delay. We're like uh, two weeks after we were last here. Two yeah. and a half weeks, something like that. We've had Christmas in between and New Year. We basically got held up because we were missing <laughs> this bat. little this little dow, which is an all field feed dow that sits in the block just there. Um now sometimes it comes off on the barrels and sometimes it's left yeah. in the cases. We didn't realise we were missing it until just as we were putting it together, it wasn't in either. <laughs> so we've had more more delay. So you know, these as because I, I lost my cylinder, my barrels, and these are not the barrels which were on the bike. That's why it wasn't on the parks. It must have been on the barrels which were lost, and we just didn't have it. We didn't have it, did we? So, yeah. so today it's all going to be one video, but we will. We are taking this engine home today. <laughs> I don't care if it's not finished. It is going home. It'll be today. finished. <laughs> It'll be finished. We want no more delay. So uh, let's resume. I've got to thank. Twan, by the way, for sending us that little uh, little because it's been Christmas. It was like tenth of yeah, January until we were processing before we could even get an order. A seventy-five p yeah. dowel. So I posted <laughs> something on Instagram, and Twan saw it for big enough performance. And said, "Do you want me to just chuck one in the post for you?" And I said, "Yes, please, mate." That would be a star. Gently tap that in. Sit it home properly. There we go. Oh, there it is. Sorted delays because of a silly little thing and someone said oh if you had a lathe you can make your own well, yeah you could not very helpful is it we haven't got a lathe yeah i haven't got a lathe <laughs> what, what do you recommend because i'm gonna have to because it's got new rings and stuff it's gonna need a little bit running in isn't it do, do, do you do what, what sort of oil should i use for that sort of a mineral oil for a running or it's semi-synthetic will do you for the semi, sort of yeah for a... the first sort of, so i'd advise sort of riding it like a new bike yeah. for the first sort of 600 yeah, miles yeah, give it a proper... up and down the revs yeah. and everything. Don't linger too Don't long at a consistent much, speed, yeah. you know, and, um, and then drop it, look for any sort of major metallic debris. You'll, you'll get a little bit because yeah. they do produce debris. Any, you know, any engine has wearing components and that you're just looking for excessive debris. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can go straight to a fully synthetic oil okay. and then just back to doing good regular oil changes. Yeah. Do you think it's worth sort of starting it, statically warming it up and then dropping the oil because it's had the, all the blasting done to it? I know it's an extra oil change. Yeah, yeah. Just it's, in case um, there's any media lurking and because it's been sat for a long time as well, I suppose. It's worth, it? worth doing a, a, yeah, get some cheap, just to sacrifice. cheap 1040 yeah. mineral oil from like Alfred's or something. Yeah, just to do that with. Do a quick start, drop it. Yeah, and that yeah. might take anything. But, you know, bear in mind with every stage we've gone through, it's been cleaned. So you shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't get much, but you're right. The fact that it's been blasted, it gives you a certain comfort factor yeah, that you're not going to be passing, passing anything else through. So we've got two gaskets to go in yep. as we do the vertical. So you've got the cylinder base gasket, which is just your spacer that sets up squish. And then we've got the actual head gasket that will go between the head and the barrel. You've got to be careful now. When you put in the piston all the way out so that you can get it in to the engine, this, this, you need to expose these landings on either side so you can get the gudgeon pin out whichever okay. way we've got to do it. So we've got to do it that way. So you can see I've got, got to come down a little bit further. But the oil control ring, there's a little bit of hair there. The oil control ring is not very far 
up the piston so it's very right. easy to Just expose to, it right, okay and be careful because then if you're forcing it back up you could snap it, it as you're going yeah, up yeah so you just got to be really careful so that you just quite tight just to work with something. yeah so like i tend to do that get it exposed and then push it back in so it's not showing anywhere yeah. we'll put some goop on that in a second once we've got the um yeah so you can just see that's our oil yeah, feed dowel in there the so you're going to sort of fit it and then gloop, gloop the gasket yeah and then afterwards. gloop it once yeah. i've got it down the fun bit yeah, it's got that one first time. So new, new piston, gudgeon pin clip in. I'm just, I'm just going to check that that seat's yeah. properly now. I'm sure that before we goop it. Make sure that oil feed pin's the right size and all of that. We're looking good. We're looking good. Excellent. So, I'll just bring that up to there. It gives us plenty of space. Yep. Pull that back, out of the way. All right. Factory glooper in there again. Yeah. Right, let me get I'm some stuff. I'm still, I'm still dubious, but it's ever going to work again. <laughs> it will work, it will work. <laughs> I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this now, if it doesn't, it's not the engine. <laughs> Yeah, that, that first time you go to press that start button, it's going to be... Yeah, yeah. Be interested. Like the first, the best bit to do as well, when you first put it in and you want to do the first start, take your plugs out and everything. Yeah, yeah. Turn, turn it, it over, over a few uh, times on yeah, the starter, exactly. just so just so you know that the starter circuit works properly, because if you've got a labouring starter... Uh, okay. It's unlikely to be the engine. It might be that your battery's not good yeah, or something yeah, like that. And yeah, you don't yeah. want to waste time trying to start a bike where there's just not enough bike juice yeah, yeah. from the battery. So they're, they're so, very slow to turn over, aren't they? Like, yeah. Start there. That's your oil drain. Just there, those two big uh, right. grooves. A little tricky on the side, isn't it? So we'll take that cover now. Definitely top in that, yes, we're in the right way. Squish that down. And then just a bit more on the top. On the top. A little bit around there. Okay. There it goes. Just test fitted that, so it should. Yep, yeah, there it is. Thought it was going to be awkward then for a second. <laughs> he wouldn't do that to us. <laughs> yeah, that's the oil drain hole. Just making sure that the cylinder matched the head there. Well, it's possible it wouldn't. It wouldn't be the. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if anything with this now. <laughs> yeah. So we are in. It's going. Oh, go. Oh, look. Almost looks like an I'll engine now, doesn't it? Drink your tea before it gets cold, mate. Yeah. Because it's tea. getting cold very quick. <laughs> <laughs> Time for tea. Oh, so but, cold, I'm going to have to blow my nose. Even if that, as long as that engine, that head's on. <laughs> even if, we, if we have another disaster, I'm taking it home anyway. And it myself <laughs> down, but look, as long as that head's on, it's coming home with me today. Oh, God, you don't get much room on this one at all. No. Hmm. I'm not using the Ducati Special Tour after all. <laughs> No, that's not going to make any Very difference. Different. It's the cover. Right. And this is why I left this loose, actually. Yeah, right. So. Cover off and do it. I didn't know how much the cover would interfere. So what I can do is I'll just pop them off yeah, that again. Yeah, it, it makes it easy, doesn't it? Heads on. She's on. <laughs> what I'll do now is I'll have a cup of tea down, is it? and I'm going to talk them down. It's a special tool for them. You don't say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they're tight all the way there, but... Yeah. yeah, it's like there's a resistance in it. There we go. And you can just see, look, the shards of aluminium that have been sacrificed in yeah. putting that on, hence why it's a once 
only. just make sure you clean that away because you can see it's quite a bit of debris there. Yeah. And if you don't clean around that, it could damage your belt. Yeah, true. There we go. That's it. So what's next then? Belt, timing with the belt or cover? Got to tighten this one. Ah, okay, one more to do. Which I just, all I do is I'll lock, lock the gear train off to do this one. So I guess the next thing, put that casing on then, that is it. And then yeah, we'll get the clutch side casing on so that we're, we're all sealed up and then we'll do the timing. We'll do the timing, so it's gonna, look, it's gonna look, can't wait to see that, uh, the clutch all on there actually, with the red yeah. over on clutch, oh, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. Bet me, nice and my tea's cold. And, uh, I need a coffee machine out there, don't we? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you got one of you? Mm. <laughs> That's a coffee machine out there. Yeah, one of those Dolce <laughs> thingies. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a posh coffee machine in the house, so that's now that's come out here. It's right to the garage. So, like, in the next few weeks, I'm taking all this off, going to paint all this. Yeah, yeah. Big screen's going to go up oh, here so you? that I can feed the manual oh, into the big screen. Nice, it? So how, how difficult is the timing? Because everyone's sort of... When it comes to belt changes, I suppose just changing the belts is, is relatively easy, isn't it? But if you're timing yeah. it up from I think from the um, it's, it's really straightforward if you know what you're doing. Yeah. If, you, if you don't know what you're doing, just be methodical about it. And one of the things you can do, certainly on the Ducatis, is, you know, when your belt's in there, if you're just about to take it all apart, mark up a reference mark when you've got it into the timed position so you yeah. know exactly where to put it back from. And um, I've heard stories of people will count the teeth between yeah, I certain markings. a couple markings. of videos of people counting so teeth. And whatever, stuff. whatever makes you comfortable with doing it. But you can get for... For the two valves, you get these like locking tools. So um, on the hyper motards, uh, these are eight mil threads, and I think the pins are seven off the top of my head. They're slightly smaller on like the six nine sixes and everything like that. But these will enable you to turn the cam into the correct place and lock it into right. its into its timed position, I see. Yeah. which would then align with the bottom end yeah. timed position. Yeah. Then you just fit your belts, then take all the time tools out to tension it. So and it's pr the, pretty straightforward yeah, process. Yeah. But we're going to do that after we've got the clutch cover on. So yeah. we'll just stick that to one side for now. Because there's timing marks on that clutch cover as well, isn't yeah, it? So yeah, it just it makes there. our life easier. But we've just got to assemble the support bearing that sits in oh, there. Yeah, that's something else we were missing, wasn't it? So where's the oil? I was thinking about this the other day when I was editing the video. Where's the oil actually fed into the crank? Here. So it's, oh, it's fed into the crank Literally, here? So your oil ah. pump will um, kick out by this pressure hole here. Right. And it will come into the clutch there. cover, goes up, comes to here. Now, um, you've got a pressure sensor. Uh, so that's where your oil warning light right, is fed yes. from. And then that feed, so you've got a bronze bush inside here, which is what the crank sits yeah. against. Uh, I see. And then you'll notice there that there, there's an as a drilling that goes all the way through. And this is why you've got this, um, so we've got a bearing to put in here, a circlet, but we've also got this seal, which is inside the engine. And that's, that purpose is, is that will sit. Sits over there. Right, sit yeah, over and there. That, and that oil's fed directly and into the crank. Will, yeah, yeah, crank. Out by the It will support end. the um, big end bearings. Yeah. And then you've got another drilling somewhere in here that the, <laughs> the bit that we've been waiting for that will take the yeah, oil up it, here, the takes the oil up there. They go into um, the top of the head and then it's a drain, yeah, drain yeah, back yeah. system. So that can fully drain. This is a bit like all horizontal heads on all Ducatis tend to have a little pooling of oil. Okay. So it's a nightmare when you take it apart because there's always oil left yeah, over. Yeah. So if I remember right, oh, we put the bearing in here, didn't we? I hope so, because I, I, I don't think it's in my bag anymore. Circlip. We definitely did have it because I remember us looking at it. We lined it all up, didn't we? Oh, that's a gear. We did have it. We did have it. No, no, you've got, we've got it. Don't worry. We know. I know <laughs> we've got worried, it. Don't get worried. <laughs> yeah, awful. here it is. Here you've it is. It here it is. I think that's the one. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the bearing. No, it's not the bearing. Oh, okay, no, wind no, my neck no. in. We had it though. We had it. I definitely know we had it. He says confidently. We definitely did. Panic over, there is no bearing which goes in here. <laughs> There's just the seal. Yeah. Oof, I was getting worried, Dad. 
just normal silicon glue. Yeah, stuff. just silicon glue just helps. Doesn't do any damage to anything, and so we are that way around. <coughs> yeah, I'm dying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't die in the corner there. <coughs> I need oh, I need you to take home your bloody yeah, engine today. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a good seal positioning. So it just sort of says in there in the guidance, make sure that the ring can spin, which it can. Uh, I was gonna say it actually says that, does it? Yeah. So that's that now reassembled, so we've got the seal. So you've got the bush that supports yep. the outside of the crank, then the seal that's gonna provide us our seal for the oil way. Mm -hmm. Now all we've got to do is goop this yep. to drop that on there. Bang it on. What I always tend to do with the, these ones where they've got a su support like that when you're putting the cover on, yeah, it's put a bit of grease in just to hold it in place. In case it doesn't move as you just... The last thing in the world yeah, you wanna have yeah. happen is that drop out as you put the cover on and you Absolutely. don't know about it. Bingo. A bit of grease there in the uh, seal. A bit of grease into the seal. And unlike modern Ducatis, these come with a dry clutch as standard. You haven't got to pay extra three grand for yeah. the casing, which gives you a dry clutch. Panigales, eh? Yeah. Technology moves on, but goes backwards at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now there's pros and cons for wet and dry clutches. Let's get some more around there, that first start. Just means there's a little bit of lubrication, not yeah. bone dry when it first turns over for you. So we're gooping. Right, our seal's in place, so we're good yep. from that front. And then you just got to make sure that that seal goes in. It's a brand new seal as well, so it's a yeah. little bit... There we go, I think that's in. No, it's just caught on the edge there. There we go. And I've just got to line it, there we go. Should it. just push on, I shouldn't have to force it. Yeah. There we go. Right, just Oof. clean up there. That's the seal around there. Nice seals nice and in. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost completed. We're in. Being an aluminium case, if you've got standard friction plates, they'll be steel right, and they'll yeah, really yeah, hurt this. You can yeah. get aluminium oh, can you? friction plates, oh, okay. which I used to use for racing. They're a lot more expensive, but they're better for these. Yeah. Better for these, you see. So a bit of thread lock on these. Yeah. One locks the bolt in but two also provides a bit of an oil seal through the yeah. primary gear. It's almost as if, if you edit the video together, we did this all in the same day. <laughs> I've even worn the same clothes for I know, continuity you continue, reasons. I haven't, I haven't. <laughs> oh, different caps and hoodies and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Or going. I've never left the garage in between filming. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Well, it's a long time since I've put a standard clutch together. Is it? I've got <laughs> yeah. slipper clutches. Yeah, everything I do is slipper clutches. Yeah, I'm, I may upgrade to a slipper clutch at some point. If you like playing on the bike and like, you know, mess, messing around at high revs and yeah. slamming down gears and that, you, you need, need a slipper it. clutch. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. The, I've only ridden this bike like three times, would you believe? Ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've said, fairly yeah. rarely ridden the bloody thing. I but see. I've noticed that that's it, if, you, if you're doing that, it blocks the back up really easily. Does. The well, it's a big, really you've seen the size of yeah, the pistons, yeah, you exactly. know. There's a there's a massive amount going on there yeah. when you slam the... Well, especially when I want to do a few little track days on it and stuff like that as well, yeah. you know. So probably, probably going to be... 
Well, you'll have to let us know when you do a track day. I'll rock up and uh, All right, yeah, that'd be super I'll have a play on something else at the same time yeah, if I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've you burnt yourself a go on it, mate. You've burnt yourself a go on it. 186 newton metres on this one. <clears throat> there we go. Sexy, that's looking sexy. Shiny. Shiny, shiny, bling bling. Blingy bling bling. God, butterfingers. <laughs> Getting excited about three years worth of work culminating <laughs> shortly. I know. We need some sort of drum roll. Some sort of <laughs> Fireworks, party poppers, something. <laughs> Gonna draw our pensions now and finish this one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the extra space you gotta have, that my engine in your garage. And then the pierced resistance. Oh. Look at that. Oh we did have correct bolts for this. I've been three years waiting to fit this. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Obra, I'm very patient. Yeah. <laughs> Should have bought me uh, carbon belt covers as well, shouldn't I? Just to oh, get it all looking sweet. Stop showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. Too much Ducati porn going I on. I know, there. isn't there? We'll have to make it an 18 plus this video, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Another little bit of bling. So. Over on clutch slave. I don't know, it's like there's a spacer on here. I think you don't need to use the. No, it doesn't. It goes right up against the case. So that's quite nice. That's built in with the um, anti-rotation device. Oh, right, it's built into the, the actual. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little spacer thing normally for that, isn't it? Yeah, little so like that. Machined so into it. So the standard it. one would be yeah, you'd would stick be that on to put it into a standard Ducati yeah. one. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Right, did have. Oh, Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good. So we've got a set of cams in here that are at the standard positions in terms of time, but you'll notice there's a cut out here. Yep. That will align with this. And what happens is when you put this timing locking tool in, it comes uh, out through goes, the cover yeah, and that will hold my cam in the right place to be able to put the belts right. on. Yeah. So that's kind of handy so you don't need to worry about timing marks with these tools so we'll just stick that back on that locks that off so that's that that's the vertical locked in its timing position so that and timing wise we just got to line up our little dot oh yeah with the paint case so that's a little cut out there little dot there that's in the correct place. Pulling up on the belt to get it into the correct position. Walk it on, so we should be good there. I've got that right back, yeah, right. What I'm just gonna do now, I'm gonna fully tension the belts, but I'm gonna put myself in a place of a bit of tension. Yeah. Just lock that down. Hold that down. Same yeah. up here. It's a bit tight on this one. Let's just loosen it off a bit. That moves. That, that moves there it. Go. Okay. Yeah. Just put a bit of tension on. And we'll just lock that in for now. And all I'm going to do now is remove okay, the locks. Yeah. Camera lock pins. A bit tight because they've got a bit of tension on them now. Take that out. Take that out. Yeah. Chuck it actually turns over now. Now we've just got to spin <laughs> it over a few times. That turns over, mate. Feel alright? As yeah. it should? Feels good. No graunching or knocking or. <laughs> Clunk. Clunk. There goes the valve. <laughs> Clunk. Yeah. 
So I'm just doing that to balance the yeah. tension in the belt. What we'll do now. Beautiful. We Slow. will come into horizontal top dead center, which the mark has kindly provided yeah. for us. Yeah. And we will now tension that belt. It's like it. So we're going to apply tension to that belt. So I need to get my uh, tension machine. Oh, do you have a special machine or did yeah. you do it for you've mm -mm. I do it by frequency. So we're going to use a clavis belt. Okay. tension meter just to measure the tension on the belts so you take it in two different places bizarrely on the horizontal it's done here okay so if you think about that that's against the mobile tensioner yeah but on the vertical you do it here oh. which is on the fixed tensioner you measure your tension when you're in top dead center for the respective cylinder so we will do the tension for the horizontal when yeah. we're in horizontal, top dead center. We'll then move this about, I think it's about 90 degrees. You get to about 270 and it will be uh, vertical top dead center and then we'll do the belt tension yeah. there. Okay. So this is a clavis meter to clean. So it just measures the twang effect. And that's my reference piece, 250. So basically all you do is you stick it up against there hit it with something. Usually you can do it with your hand if it's not wanting to play. One sixty five. It's tight. Right, so the start in I think for new belts is on the two valves is one forty four. 140 plus or minus from cold. So we are slightly out. So 137, so we are there. Okay. That's 140 plus or minus five. So if I'm just gonna nip this up for now, because what we've got to do is spin the engine over and yeah. check it sticks. So just tighten that one there. Just try and find where it's stuck. There's roughly top dead center. That's, so you see you move it about yeah. 90-ish odd degrees. We'll just pass 90 on it. Then we need to do is take the bent tension on here. Yeah. Ooh, 185. Right. <clears throat> too tight now then. Might have gone a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, slightly out. One three one. Oh, can I just force that down a little bit with it tight and there we go. It's probably too much that. Yeah. Yeah. Too one much. Seven, one seven three. Um can I just so next to nothing makes such a big yeah. variance in it. Ah, there we go. It's that. Right, 142. So I'm going to try and lock down there. So would you recommend always using one of those machines to do it then? So there are a lot of people just do it by feel, I suppose. You can or? do it by feel. You can do it. There's, there's, I think there's like a deflection tool that measures like you, you apply a certain oh, level yeah. of force, force so it, it moves. that works. I suppose it's whatever you've got to hand. This is more repeatable. Yeah. Right, so let's just spin this over. So now what we're going to do, spin it over a few times. Let the be belts settle. We'll just do a check. Yeah, after it's moved, yeah. 37, so we bob on. There we go. Repeat, please. 132. That's good. And then I've thrown my tool down there. I really should have brought some party poppers or something. <laughs> I, did, I didn't think ahead, did I? I did the firework, party poppers. That's all just spin. And everything. That's why you've got your build oil in it. 
Yeah, it is, yeah. Good. Very nicely. No knocks. Oh, there we go. One built engine. Ta da. <laughs> Took three years. Three we years got in there. the making. Yeah. Three years in the making, literally. As I say wow. to my wife when she reminds me about things, says, I'll get round to it eventually. Yeah. You don't have to keep reminding me every six months. <laughs> <laughs> we got there, mate. We yeah. got there. Oh, well, thanks, mate. Your, your efforts are above and beyond on this one, haven't you? Above yeah. and beyond the call of duty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is appreciated. There it is. Time to get it home. Look at that, she is back home, belt covers fitted, good clean up, but there she is, she's home. We've got all the other Ducati bits here, ready to go. Look at this, <laughs> the swinging arm, the painted subframe, various blingy bits. That's a giveaway by the way, Ultimate Adult giveaway coming up. Carbon hand guards, oil pipes, service shocks, we've got the, uh, forks up here I've got full carbon bodywork coming as well I mean it's it's going to be yeah it's going to be rather splendid this bike I'm really excited and huge thanks to Nelly I mean I could not have done this without Nelly massive massive thanks to Nelly for helping me with this you know if you if you haven't subscribed to him I'll put links to his channel below Go and subscribe. He's got a lot of projects coming up. He's done a lot and done much on YouTube lately, but he's going to be start uploading again. And he's such a knowledgeable guy. And you know, look what we've got here because of his help. I mean, this engine's back. I, I still really can't believe it. It's been three years this thing's been in bits. It's going to be like getting a whole new bike this year. So, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe because we're going to complete the build series on this machine. Get it. It's a bit of a mess in here at the moment, but we'll get it built up in here. You know. I'm going to build it on this, my new table. This is my new assembly table. Um, so we're going to build it on here, put the frame back on the engine, you know, get it all back together basically. So, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for new Hypermotard content coming very, very soon. See you there, guys.